Hi, you. <laughs> How are you? Um, this is Tao here, back at again with another video, uh, finally. I added a little subscribe button in the beginning, I thought that was pretty cool. And um, yeah, in today's video it's a bit different than normal because I'm not drawing anything from an anime or manga, I'm kind of just drawing an idea or trying to paint an emotion which I had. Yeah. So today's piece is called Echo Location and I'm painting it by using gouache or gouache on um, just some smooth paper that I have. Uh, it pretty much just acts as like a watercolour, but well, that's what I found with it. Um, I'm not an expert with the medium and I've only used it once before, but uh, this is how it's turned out. So when I mixed it with water, I kind of just treated it like I was putting a bunch of like building up layers of a wash. And I knew that I was going to end up going over the piece with a black pen to add in any fine details. And that's a technique that I used to use a lot when I was a bit younger. Uh, just be really nice to have some colours to go around. Like, you know when you would find some stains, I'm not sure if you did this, but whenever I'd find like a stain at the end of my page, I would draw over it with a black pen and I'd make like a little creature out of it. So I kind of treated this just like I would with that. And you can see at this stage, I'm very loosely painting everything in gouache. Gouache. <laughs> I'm going to learn how to pronounce that. Um, and if you already know how to pronounce that, just let me know in the comments. <laughs> yeah, just flex. Anyways, so uh, what I did with this was I didn't care about mistakes when I was using the medium because, as I, as I said earlier, I was going to go over it with a pen. And I'd use that as my chance to kind of get rid of any mistakes or you know because it's, it's not really final at all even if I do use pen I can just go over it again with another wash that actually be a bit harder and I'd have to use a lot more <laughs> like some white paint but you know I was kind of happy with how this turned out so a little bit about this piece is it was inspired by well, to be honest, I was inspired by a feeling of loneliness or the inability to kind of reach out or to convey my emotions and by using, like, you know, English language. <laughs> so the inability to articulate my emotions in a verbal sense. Yeah. So um, a cool thing about whales or bats or dolphins is that they use echolocation in order or, yeah, in order to find things and um, I'm sure you may already know what echolocation is um, it's just where they send out sound waves and they bounce off objects and that lets them determine the distance between themselves and the object based on how far the vibration travels and um, I really like this concept because Sometimes it feels like you, I don't know, sometimes it feels like you, you don't know what to say. <laughs> kind of just like now actually, <laughs> when it comes to explaining pieces I'm not the best at it, but I'm trying. And I guess with art that's kind of just my own form of echolocation in a way. So I like to leave it up to interpretation. And um, actually, I wonder what you would think of this piece if you didn't hear the audio and all you saw was this piece and the making of it. I wonder what kind of emotions it would make you feel or what it would make you think. Would you care more about what I'm drawing or how I'm drawing it? Or would you think about why I'm drawing it or what it means to you? Does it make you remember something? I'm also trying something a bit different in this video where I'm just rambling without any points to go off and I'm just watching myself do this time lapse while I try to just talk to you. <laughs> yeah. So um, I haven't been putting out videos lately and I've got a bunch of them backed up on my computer and the reason I haven't put them out is because I think I've been a bit paralyzed with the idea of not knowing what to say when it comes to putting out a video so 
this is me just going with it um yeah let's talk about the painting a bit uh, i guess you're painting slash drawing uh, at this point i started to pull out the black pen and for the big parts i use a copic marker brush you don't need to use that i mean it's just a sharpie would do just fine or even like a 0.8 pilot fine liner would work any black pen really <laughs> um, there's all these fancy terminology like terms for basic stuff like a thick black pen <laughs> yeah so um yeah the, the best part about this piece was kind of like it was a catharsis in a way where it allowed me to release a bunch of pent up feelings at the time so I did it all in one sitting like I usually do with these pieces and it means a lot to me this piece because it kind of visually portrays well at least to myself the idea that hey I'm trying yeah trying to reach out I guess um, that may sound really sad, but I, I don't think it is. Because um, it's a beautiful thing, you know. Like, just... Even if you think about it, like, right now, I'm talking to you. And if you've listened to to the video so far, you're already at 6 minutes and 40 seconds. And I've pretty much been able to speak to you about how I felt about this piece. And maybe you might relate. Or maybe this piece makes you feel a certain way and I mean if you decide to comment then we can like you know connect and I think that's kind of cool and that's kind of what the internet is all about so yeah it's pretty incredible how technology brings us together in a way that you know hasn't really been done before the internet <laughs> yeah it's a bit harder you know, doing the voiceovers without having written up some points to like go over in the background but I feel like this is just a good way to kind of come back into doing videos because I think I would prefer just talking about what I feel like or what I'm thinking about a piece and if I just put out what I feel then I'd be willing to do it easier or well, willing to do it more and I've come to find that it's like that with a lot of things so the trick is kind of just loving something enough that you don't mind doing it and then if you can do that then you'll pretty much be okay with the long hours spent on it all the time so you feel like you're not getting anywhere and yeah I think that's how people kind of succeed by doing the same thing and kind of just sticking it out well, I mean, there, sure, there are more factors to that, and I'd be remiss if I didn't like take those into consideration. But I think that's a huge part of it, you know, just truly loving what you do and not forcing yourself to do things in a certain way because then you'll just be miserable. <laughs> yeah. Right. So that's this piece, and I kind of just want to spend the last minute asking about you. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> How's life? <laughs> Uh, what do you think of the piece and um, does it make you feel anything or think of anything and um, yeah what's new <laughs> I ask these questions and I just realize how difficult it is because the amount of people which I connect with through say YouTube or Instagram and stuff that's a lot smaller than the actual audience that ends up watching or viewing my content and I feel like there's this gap and I don't want the viewers to just be another number or then to be just another follower like it'd be really cool if you know there was that kind of form of communication where we could get to know each other a bit does that sound weird? <laughs> maybe I don't, I don't know like I uh, because it's, it's like, you know, you've heard my voice, but I haven't heard yours. <laughs> Unless you're someone I know and you're watching this video, then hi. So, yeah. 
Anyways, um, I'm nearing the end of the video and I think I'm going to keep this voiceover and I'm going to quickly post it before I overthink it. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for sticking around uh, for watching this video. And uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I hope you like the piece. If you did like what you saw and you'd like to see more, then yeah, please consider subscribing and liking the video. It does help a lot, but more importantly, please drop a comment and yeah. <laughs> oh, and the notification bell. Just give that a bit of a ding. Great, well, hope to hear from you. Bye. <laughs>